Thursday morning. We've got a very busy day today. Just going to smash it out, have a quick workout, and then uh, get the energy going and get out the door and start my day. All right, all right, just got out the door, uh, shooting across town. I've got an 11, it's 10.30 now. I've got an 11 uh, a.m. meeting, but it's getting there a bit early because I've got to jump on a PR call. I've got an interview for, I don't know, some magazine or something in um, in London. Um, they're going to do a feature on, I don't know, co-living or spaces, so I need to chat with um, the editor for a little bit, and then I uh, hop straight off that call into and into my 11 a.m. meeting. Yeah, yeah. I was driven by, you know, trying to find a solution to, to the market. Um, and then I developed co-living um, at that time, back in 2006. That's it, just a quick 10, 15 minute call with the editor of uh, the magazine. Just want to get the lowdown and the brief headlines of um, Spaces and me and our future ambitions. Let's see what they do with that and if it makes it into their article or a feature, I'll actually have to find out what it is they're planning on doing with it. Uh, but yeah, good goods. Right, I'm just going to sit down in this coffee shop for 5, 10 minutes and then head off to the meeting next door. Just waiting for a coffee. No, I'm not. I'm waiting for a hot chocolate. I don't drink coffee. Intro. Oh, lovely. So, Sumon, uh, he just did a quick intro to um, Brian at Story. Story are quite early stage in terms of their investment um, approach, um, whereas we're at a bit later stage, but I think um, Sumon made the connection because I think it's always interesting to have a little a little chat and see see where things go and get kind of onwards um, introductions and whatnot. Um, and Sumon speaks highly of uh, these guys, so uh, yeah, I'm quite looking forward to having a little sit down with Brian and having a little chat. So yeah, just finished up with... Um, uh, story nice to have a little chat um, he's happy more than happy to um, do a few introductions apparently he's been checking out my YouTube channel he watched my entire 50 minute interview in detail loved it sent it to his girlfriend she's been watching it and I've got myself a couple of little fans over there but he's gonna intro me to a couple of um, slightly later stage investors who he knows um, will like the space that would be fun um, during that meeting a whole bunch of other stuff come up so I've got a few meetings in I've got three meetings to balance in this evening kind of all overlapping with each other DN Capital who I've been trying to sit down with for a little while they've finally just we've managed to quickly just to find a quick slot um, which I've got to hop on a call with them in about 10-15 minutes um, so I'm just going to try and quickly grab some food hop on a call with DN Capital um, then I've got coaching this afternoon then I've got to go straight into a meeting with um, Calatrava Grace who are big real estate developers just going across to uh, no liter now which is one of my favorite parts of town apparently there's no water in this part of town for some reasons all the restrooms are closed and i'm absolutely busting for a wee i'm just gonna have to hold it whilst i'm on this call Ventec and DN Capital co-invested in Hostmaker um, and I had a call with Ventec um, the other day, they loved it um, and then they um, basically said look talk to DN Capital and let's see if it makes sense for a co-investment. Um, so I just had the call with DN Capital now, I think it went really well, um, he loves it, he's asking me how quickly we need term sheets and all the rest of it which is a good question to ask. Um, so he's going to send me a couple of uh, information requests, um, I'll ping that over to him. Um, and then um, th those guys will have a chat and um, circle back to me and let me know how they're feeling about the whole thing. Um, so yeah, promising call, it's probably the best outcome that I can hope for at this particular stage. But of course, you know, it's early, you know, the way I am with pitching and the way the investment story is in the deck. The, the response is always positive at this stage. The time when it's going to go down, if it does go down, is when they've reviewed the data um, and they've had some internal discussions and maybe it's not quite fitting with a particular part of their investment thesis. Um, and that's the key thing to know with all of these VCs is that um, they all have a very particular thesis and they might even see a business which you know they would kind of theoretically want to invest in but if it doesn't fit their thesis they can't invest in it um, so it's very very um, interesting like that and important to bear that in mind when the inevitable no's and rejections do come along because um, all they're really saying is you know um, yeah, we like you, but we just can't invest in, in you right now. And it could just be down to the industry that you're in, you know. An industry, 
isn't always a no-brainer, right? It's not always clear what industry you're in, because you might think we're in real estate, but are we? Aren't we more like a marketplace? Aren't we more like a consumer brand? And if um, a, uh, a VC is set up to invest in consumer brands, but they think, no, no, you're not really a consumer brand, you're more of a marketplace, then that's an example of it not really fitting the industry. Uh, but yeah, the call with DM went really well, um, and let's see, let's see how it goes. Let's see what the output's like. I'm meeting Calatrava Grace in um, a hotel lobby somewhere. I'm going to shoot across there. I'm going to get there early because I've got a coaching call to jump on as well. Um, so I'm going to head out from here and bust out over there. So I'm here at the Mandarin Oriental. Just had a, um, a sit down chat with the uh, senior guys from Calatrava Grace. These guys are obviously, you might, anyone watching this might know Santiago Calatrava. He's a world famous um, architect and Calatrava Grace are their real estate development and investment arm. Um, these guys are uh, looking to, they've been wanting to penetrate and expand massively in London for a while. So I came over here to meet the guys, sit down and discuss it in a bit of detail. Um, and they're super keen to, to crack on. I think the terms on which they're discussing it really can work for us as well. Um, so it's been a really, really um, good meeting. I'm glad I made the effort to uh, sit down with them and have a little chit chat. Um, we've got a few sites which we think will be a good fit, so we're going to ping them across. So um, yeah, it was a good meeting.